Hey, it's Sam from Dan Talk, Real Talk. Let's talk. So this is one of two. I'm feeling particularly um, enthusiastic about 2023. I have promised myself and you big changes. Major stuff going to happen as far as some revelations too. I have a few that I'm going to save one at least for next week. It's going to be quite the revelation, I'll tell you. Um, <laughs> and no, I'm not a guy, but at the end of the day, you're going to find out something about someone I dated, uh, because when I found out this about someone I dated, I was quite shocked, actually. Uh, I am going to do a part two. I'm going to give you a dating update because I have a dinner date or an afternoon date. It's an afternoon date on Thursday. I'm going to show you the good, the bad, and the ugly. This all so far leading up to this date has been very ugly, so... Um, I'm giving it a shot because I'm determined to keep open-minded, but let's get on with this. Don't bother making resolutions. Don't bother saying things that aren't going to happen. Don't bother putting that on yourself. Not only the pressure, but the expectation. What we're going to do this year is take away the... So if someone, if your partner doesn't want to do something, we're going to find out why and remove the barrier or help to remove the barrier. And if that includes you. So if you have an aversion to oral sex, we're going to find out... I'm going to help you to figure out why that is. Um, if it's cultural, if it's religious. So there are certain things I won't be able to change. If you have strong religious beliefs, I will totally always respect that, as everyone should. But, you know, we can always get through the rest of it together and make it work. Uh, I want to talk about things that make us a little uncomfortable, including me. I'm going to talk about my lack of success. What's it based on? My attitude, this, that, what is it? What really is happening in life and that applies to all of us. We are going to have some great sexual conversations. I'm going to focus in on cuckolding a lot. I've had a lot of people talk to me about cuckolding. And here's something I want to talk to you about. So in order to have the best life, you have to know what you want. You need to have a plan. So earlier in life, when I should have made a plan for certain things like finances and that, I never bothered because I always believed I'd be married, I'd be someone's wife. And I wouldn't have to worry about that because I'm just not good at it. So never leave stuff to somebody else when you might end up, like myself, having to resolve these issues and being the person who needs to take care of it. The point of this is make sure you're taking care of your sexual wellness, your sexual desires, your sexual needs, so that when the day comes and, you know, no one knows how long anyone's going to live, but know how long you're going to get pleasure out of life. And that should be every single day. We're going to act on things. We're going to make things real. We're going to talk about anything and everything that you want to based on your comments to me. Um, there's nothing off the table except for anything to do with animals, anything to do with children. And if you're going to be really skanky about stuff, you know what? Keep it to yourself. Keep it in your bra or your pants or wherever you need to keep it because I wouldn't do that to you. Diane from Diane Talk, Real Talk, Real Talk, two of two coming up. Don't miss this one because this is kind of uh, messed up. Ciao.